I know a few films back I said I was going to review this one, but I kind of fell behind. And I didn't really know anything about this one. I heard about it at various like film festivals. I heard it was pretty good, mediocre. I didn't even watch Tro this one. And this has to do with beauty standards, you know, based upon what I did hear about the movie. And I watched the substance. You know, you can watch Henry Logan and myself's review on the website. Um, I figured maybe it's going to be kind of like that. Maybe something, you know, there's something in the cream that Elizabeth Banks is putting on her face. So, you know, I went into this with a lot of curiosity. My name is Kevin Muller, and I'm from Cinema Fellows. I'm the movie guy there. And today, we're going to be talking about skincare. Life. My life, and I feel very threatened. I don't think it's about the skin you start out with. I think it's about what are you willing to do to get to where you want to be. All right, let me get this out of the way. This movie is nothing like The Substance. It is not insane like The Substance. The only real thing it may have in common with it is taking place in L.A. and kind of showing the vapidness and hollowness and the phoniness of the city. But even that is really not really what it's about in this movie. Elizabeth Hanks plays Hope Goldman. She is on the rise. She owns a spa. She owns her own skincare products. In the beginning of the movie, she is on a talk show discussing all this. One of her clients, who was an up-and-coming actress, has just been cast in a movie that will give the actress exposure and hope hopes that you know she will say oh my skin looks good because i use hope goldman stuff everything seems to be going well she has even met a guy who is uh named jordan he is new to la he is played by lewis pullman son of bill and uh he's a self-help guru he basically changes people's lives for the better but then something bad happens uh hope gets hacked her email gets hacked and a mass message is sent out saying that she is in debt she is lonely she is scared and most of all she is horny now not every guy in la looks like chris pratt um chris hemsworth or whatever chris or whatever the guy you think is attractive so the creeps start coming around she starts losing clients because more and more of her life starts getting exposed who can be doing this her main suspect is a guy who moved into a business in the same shopping center, does spa and skincare. His name is Angel. She is convinced that he is trying to sabotage her. People think she's crazy, but is she crazy? And that's really all I'm going to say about the plot. Uh, because at first, to be honest, I wasn't really digging this movie. The movie's 90 minutes. And... The first 45 minutes is very awkward. The script is kind of all over the place. It dips its feet in different genres. But the halfway point, the story kind of takes a swerve. And depending on your opinion of that swerve, I think that is going to determine your enjoyment of this film. Personally, I like the swerve. And I liked everything that came after that. Um... It reminded me of this 2015 movie that I watched called Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, where I didn't really care for the beginning of that movie, but by the end, I loved it. Skincare is nowhere near as good as that movie. As I, as I said, uh, the script is all over the place. Banks is okay. Banks is a decent actress. You know, we know she can do the chaotic energy, and that's what she brings to this character. And other parts of performance are not as strong, but again, it's not a terrible performance. It fits well into this film, which has uh, horror elements, has thrill elements, self parroting and a little bit comedic too. And some of the comedy was kind of not that funny, but again, I, I enjoyed this film. Um, the one performance I liked was Louis Pullman. As I said, he's the son of Bill and he was in Top Gun Maverick last year or two years ago. I'm sorry. And I, I liked what he did with his character. I, I did. I thought it was cool. And he's part of the reason why I liked the second half of the movie a lot more than the first. Because if I was to grade the first, I'd probably give it maybe one and a half, two. But in the end, the charm of this movie and where it went won me over. I suggest, even though I'm going to give it three out of five Elizabeth Banks hair pieces, I suggest you check it out. 
there are films that I do encounter where, you know, I'm very interested in what you guys think. I've been recommending this thing to everyone I know, saying like, you know, you may not like it, but give it this chance. It does swerve into an interesting place. You know, if you have seen it, do you agree with me? Or are you like one of the people who said, oh, God, this movie is awful? Let me know. Come to the website, cinemafellas.com. We're, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're reviewing TV, movies, and video games. Uh, next time, I will be back on my review of Joker 2, which I hear is not doing too well. Who would critics and audiences like? Anyway, I'm going to see it tonight. I'm actually seeing like two hours. Excited about that one. Oh, uh, yeah. Visit the website. Watch our podcasts. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about this. And again, try it out. Try it out. Try it out. I really want to hear what everyone thinks about this one. You know, even the guys at the website, I'm going to suggest it. And uh, yeah, cinefellas.com. And I'm Kevin Muller. Thank you again. And cheers. Cheers. <laughs>